Welcome back. We're here looking at the end of season. This is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, July 30, 2021. If you like support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button the bell button to see our new videos. And we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we did rally a little bit today. We did pull back quite a bit at the end of the US session. And that could mean that we'll pull back towards the middle of the bullish band before going higher. If you look at technical indicators, they are fairly mixed. You can see that MACD is still bullish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is flat at this point. Break below the middle of the bullish band, that could lead to the 50 moving average, and that should be as far as this market goes. Break below there, then we could drop all the way down to 4,000. However, we are still in an uptrend, and uh, buyers are basically just buying these pullbacks. Every time we get to the 20 exponential, 50 moving average, and that has been the game since we broke down last year. And um, buying the dips is still a thing that works in this market, for instance, here and so on. As long as the Federal Reserve doesn't change its monetary policies and the U.S. Um, US government is will continue uh, with its fiscal policy, then there's just too much money out there and this will just continue going up and up. The next target will most likely be 4,500 and it looks like end of August should would make sense, but usually, is, uh, usually September is a terrible uh, time for the stock market and indices as a whole. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones also up, a pull back a little bit at the end of the session, not as much as in the Nasdaq and the, for the S&P 500, uh, but still we are just shrugging along. So pulling back towards the middle of the bullish band, the 20 exponential and the 50 moving average, and even the bottom of the bullish band, all of those have been buying opportunities. Every time we basically break down, we can just go higher. Trading at 35,112 at this current stage and uh, 35,500 will mostly be the target uh, mid-August, probably if this uh, trend continues in this fashion. If you look at the MACD, it, look, it is still bullish. Stochastic is bearish at this point and the RSI is flat, but there's a lot of room to the upside. So let's look at a NASDAQ. So Nasdaq really pulled back at the end of the session, ended up in red. So not a very good sign for the Nasdaq. Uh, this could mean that we will continue towards the 20 exponential at uh, tomorrow, more probably, or in the, in the Asia session and Euro European session. Usually Friday is a really good, uh, really good um, a day for the Nasdaq or the indices in the US as a whole. However, technical indicators, they are looking fairly dreadful at this point. Max, MACD is bearish, the stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is flat at this point. If break below the 20 exponential, well, that opens the door to 4, 14,540, and the 50 moving average down here at the 14,300. 14,000 should actually be the bottom of this market, drop below there. Then testing of the 200 moving average will mostly come into play. However, we are still doing just the same thing. We have occasionally been uh, breaking down towards the bottom of the bullish band, but those occasions have been, for example, last September, when we got absolutely parabolical in this market twice, also in October and uh, in the beginning of November. And when that happens, this tends to basically break towards the bottom of the bullish band and we have a uh, fall of roughly 10 to 12 percent in the market. But that's not what we're looking at here at this moment or doesn't seem like we're looking at that at this moment. 20 exponential or the bottom of the bullish band, that should be as far as this market should go. So let's look at the German DAX. So German DAX is still hanging on at the uh, 20 exponential and uh, 50 moving average. It has been a really, really choppy this market. It fell off a cliff uh, roughly one, one and a half week ago. And since then it recovered, it's hanging on at the 50 moving average. But still, if you don't break above the 50 moving average, head towards the top of the bullish band, this could basically tumble back towards 15,000 and all the way to the 200 moving average. If we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is just about to cross the signal line. That's a good sign. The, R the stochastic is bearish and the RSI is flat at this point. 16,000 to the upside should be the target here. So UK 100. The FTSE, we can see that we did rally above the 50 moving average and gave most of those gains back. That is not a very good sign. Uh, however, this major 
uh, rally here at the end of the session uh, on Wednesday. That was or it was on Tuesday. It was a really good sign that this market was going to go higher. It did go higher, but it got rejected here heavily at the 50 moment average. If we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is crossing the signal line. That is a bullish shine. A stochastic is bullish, and so is the RSI. So it may well be this just a pullback at the end of the session. This will continue tomorrow up towards um, 7,200. Otherwise, uh, break below this candlestick here. That could open the door all the way down back to 6,800, and then the 200 moving average or 6,750. So China 50. So China 50 had a really good day yesterday, but did not manage to break above the previous highs of, uh, of Wednesday. And then today we tumbled yet again. So this market has been an absolute free fall since um, late May. And uh, well, there's doesn't look like there's any end in sight. We are most we have a crossing here of the 50 moving average and 200 moving average. We have the crossing of 20 and the 300. And uh, in this um, if this continues, we'll probably have a crossing of the 200 and 300, and that'll probably be a long-term downtrend for uh, this market as a whole. Probably we have been um, dropping since um, February when we hit the highs here. We have been dropping since then. We did have a uptrend for roughly from roughly March last year to February, nearly a year of an uptrend. This could basically be the same that we're looking at. That will drop back towards these levels where we started basically in uh, March last year. But that is um, impossible to say at this point. But there should be still room to the upside before we go continuing uh, going down. I didn't expect this to drop as fast as it did today, but it did. So confidence in this market is not that good. And we could see this uh, continue falling. MACD is bearish, stochastic is bullish, and RSI is bearish as well. Uh, 20 exponential moving average, if we were to rally up to that point, should be where this uh, basically breaks down. Dropping below this candlestick, 14,557. Well, that could lead us all the way down here to 14,000, give or take. So, hope you found this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck and thank you very much.